you know, if you say, oh, I built a Lego car to someone just thinking about it, they would think, oh, big deal. Oh, exactly. So we've known each other for a couple of years. Yeah. Since the start, you sent me a YouTube message. I remember that. And then we had a Skype call and then I never heard from you again. <laughs> that is not true. My name is Raul Waida. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Romania. And what do you do for a living? I have my own startup and I invent things. A full-size Lego car that has a Lego engine that works on air, a jet propelled bicycle and a spaceship. The reasoning behind it was that if I can design, build and launch something into outer space by myself, I'll automatically be an astronaut. And then the next thing I hear from you, you're like, hey, Flora, what's going on? I just built a jet engine and strapped it to a bicycle. Yep. <laughs> I went to Google and I looked up how to build a jet engine. And it had like a really, really simple drawing of like a fan. And, and I thought to myself, wow, that's like quite simple. I can build that in two weeks, maybe three weeks. And in the end, it took like three years. Reading books on a subject and building parts. I got my own lathe so I can make my own parts. So. You have your own lathe now? Yeah, yeah. The next project was this Lego vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Which sounds little. How many Legos were in the car? Uh, roughly half a million. We did two test rides. One was in Romania and it went about 20K, which doesn't sound like much, but keep in mind, it's, it's a car out of Lego. And it, it, like, it's right about to fall apart at any moment. There's like a, a trail of Legos everywhere you go with the car. Really? Yeah. Tell me about the engine. The Lego engine is an air-powered, piston-driven contraption that has 256 cylinders and roughly 100,000 parts. And it was the hardest part to build out of the car. What's actually propelling it to move? We have compressed air stored in bottles in the back. The air pushes down the pistons and makes the whole thing go. So instead of burning gasoline, it just uh, releases air. But it's almost inconsequential what the, what the car is physically. The Lego car is a physical token of what's possible in a connected world where you have all these people connecting together. And, and proving a point. And in our case, the point was that you can build an eco-friendly car out of toy pieces. Mm. And we wanted to bring attention to air-powered cars because most people have no idea that this stuff is actually out there. Do you think that that kind of technology could work on a non-Lego car? Yeah, and I think there was a model made by Peugeot that employed that. So in a way, it's like having an electric car, but you can charge it in and a few seconds because you just plug in the high pressure thing and and it's it's charged. I'm just so curious what compels you to build this stuff. That's a good question. Well, why not? I don't think it's actually about the knowledge or resources because I'm a kid from a poor family in Eastern Europe. Anyone on the street right now walking by in, in Brooklyn has better chances of doing this than me in Eastern Europe. It's about the willingness to do it. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hmm, good question. I see myself not on Earth. I want to be in space by then.